Hello everyone and welcome to my 128 sub special. So from now on I'm going to be doing subscriber specials uh, for powers of two. So basically just signifying each time the channel doubles in size. But anyway, onto the topic of the video. So why does quasi-connectivity work in Minecraft? So before it was actually a bug, now it's an intended feature. Which in my opinion is interesting, a bug turned into a feature. But anyway, let me show you how it works. So it's really quite simple. Uh, if you see, this is the method for checking if the piston should be extended. So we're in the piston block class, and this is the method that checks if a piston should be extended. So by should be extended, it basically means is it powered? Is it getting powered? But as you know, quasi-connectivity is basically should the block above it be powered? And if it is, then the piston will be powered even if it's not directly powered. So first, uh, you can see then, should be extended, it's a boolean, basically it's asking a yes or no question. Should it be extended or should it not be extended? And this return statement, you can see it in quite a few places. You can see it here, you can see it here, here, and here. Basically what it means is it's answering the question, should it be extended? You can see here it's returning true, uh, true, true, and if it gets past all of these then it returns false. So anyway, what does all this jumble mean? So First of all, only pay attention to what's in here. So starting from the private boolean to this bracket. So the first part is it's checking if the piston is powered normally. So just this part, and it's if it's this part, so it's just checking about whether the piston is powered normally or not. Now you can see uh, this is just an else thing. So these are if statements. It's basically checking if this condition is true. And this one's checking if this condition is true. So if it's powered, and here also you can see if side powered, then it obviously returns true because obviously it's powered, therefore it should be extended. However, here, if it's not powered normally, right, if it's not powered like that, then this line of code gets run because it's else, because you can see we had an if statement. After an if, sometimes you can put an else statement. So basically, if this part doesn't get run, so so if this is not true, then this code gets run. So you can see the very first line is block pause, block pause, equals pause dot up. Now, this may or may not make sense to you already, but basically, this pause is the position of the piston. So Obviously, we want to know if the piston should be extended, so we're checking the position of the piston. Now, basically, what we're doing is we're creating a new variable, uh, block pause. The name doesn't matter, uh, it's just so that it's different from pause. Pause standing for position, but anyway, this new variable, it's basically the position right above the piston, because pause.up obviously would mean that it's right above the piston. So, if I actually run this, uh, if I click this button here, and run this whole thing. All right, so now we're inside of this instance of Minecraft that was launched from IntelliJ, and you can see it's 1.16.5. Uh, I didn't change anything, so Smata doesn't m mean anything. But anyway, I already have a world here prepared, so I just want to show you. Um, we're inside the world now. It's nothing special, but I just want to show you quasi connectivity at the moment does work, uh, as you can see. It's working fine, even though. This piston below technically isn't powered. Uh, this redstone block is powering it because when this piston wants to check if it's powered, then it checks the block above as well. So it checks it checks everything as if its position was this piston right here. So this bottom piston, first it checks for normal power sources around it, then it pretends like its position is right here, and then it checks for power sources again. That's why this redstone block will actually power this piston, the lower one. The upper one gets powered normally like that, but the lower one actually gets powered due to quasi-connectivity. Now I'm going to go back into IntelliJ, and I'm going to change the code so that we can actually remove quasi-connectivity. Alright, so basically all I need to do is just say, we're not going up, we're staying at the same spot, um, because I'm lazy, because technically what I could do is just say pause.offset, like here instead of block pause I could write pause. Um, the reason I didn't do that is just because so that we can focus on only this line of code. So now I'm gonna run everything again. 
Also, while I'm waiting for it to launch, I just want to mention this is MCP Reborn. Uh, this is not, I don't have a tutorial for this on my channel yet. So if you want that, just leave a like and leave a comment, of course. But anyway, now we're back here. Uh, you don't see any changes on the outside here because it's just all under the hood. And you won't be able to see any changes until we actually perform our experiment again. Now we're back in our world here. And now let's try again. So we place a redstone block where we put it before and you can see this bottom piston doesn't actually extend. This is really awesome. Uh, I haven't had much experience with coding before or rather with modding. I have had experience with coding. I haven't had much experience with making mods for Minecraft, but you can see uh, I can do that. We can give all sorts of block updates to this piston. Uh, nothing will make it extend because it's not actually powered. It doesn't think it's powered because according to the code, it's not powered. So if you want me to write this up as a fabric mod in case you don't want quasi connectivity, then leave a comment as well. Um, I know some people may not want quasi connectivity. I personally think it's one of the most useful features in Minecraft, but if you don't want quasi connectivity, I can link it down below as a mod if anybody sends me a request. But this is just pretty awesome in my opinion. Like you can see, we're giving it all sorts of block updates. We're walking around. Uh, we can even replace the piston again, and it still doesn't think it's powered. Again, because according to the code, it's not actually powered um, because I changed it. So now it doesn't check around the top anymore. Technically, the way I changed it is a bit redundant because then it checks around it again. So it checks twice, but it's just for the purposes of demonstration. I just wanted to show you, you can actually remove quasi connectivity from Minecraft Java Edition. And just to show you so that I'm not fooling you or anything, I'm saving and quitting, you can see Java Edition. This is pretty epic in my opinion. Don't misunderstand me, I didn't mean that it's epic that we don't have quasi connectivity. I meant that it's epic that you can change such a little thing in the code and it makes such a big fat difference. All right, but if you're still confused, now I'm going to go into a Google Doc and I'm going to write up some pseudocode so you can see it without all the stuff being kind of weird there. So you can just see what's going on. You don't want to see any code. Then that's fine. All right, so here's the pseudocode. So first, um, this is the question if it should be extended. And of course, it's referring to the piston. Should the piston be extended or not? Mm -hmm. Technically, uh, it's, is it powered? So this is the code for checking if the piston is powered. So first it checks if it's powered normally. And if it's not, then it pretends the position is one block higher and then it checks again. So yeah, it's technically not that complicated. What I did here is I changed this pretend position is the same. That's why I said it's redundant because I still make it check again. Um, this is just to show you that this one code technically is the code that makes it check if it should be powered there. Okay, so one more thing I want to try before I end the video is see here, this is the block pause thing. So this variable is a type of block pause. So here you can see in the methods, uh, if I scroll down here, you can see here's the up method and basically it just offsets it by one higher but I can actually change how much it offsets it by. Of course, I can go in other directions, um, but let me offset it by two. And now I'm gonna run this again. All right, so now my experiment is, will this work? Yep. See, uh, this one actually won't be powered because now if I place a block there, now it will be powered because it checks two blocks above. But um, you can see, so if I just, ignore those two. This one now has two blocks of space in between it, and we just changed quasi connectivity to be for two blocks away. But anyway, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today. Again, make sure to leave a comment if you want a mod like this, where I completely remove bug powering. Of course, I'll do it with uh, droppers and dispensers as well, because it works with those. And of course, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe. I have tons more technical Minecraft content, and it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.